Well, good morning. How to create inventory spreadsheet to track your handmade product? We create a spreadsheet, inventory spreadsheet tool. Enter our raw materials, our handmade products, and to track our sales. And this spreadsheet is going to be regular entry, will require regular entry. Pretty much everything is going to go here. But we want another sheet to summarize this sheet for us. So we are going to just click plus here and I'm just going to call it handmade. I'm going to uh, click twice and call it handmade. And what I will do at this point is, let's see. There are things from here that I like to copy. But let's see if we can do it very quickly here. So I'm going to have, I'm just going to leave some space on top. Come down and here, the category may not be needed, may not be needed here, but I'm just going to put item or products. And leave some space there and I'll just put Yes, that whatever that is. Quantity unit price total. I'm leaving that space. I'm going, I'm leaving, yeah, uh, and then here purchases, purchases during the year, and pretty much. The same thing, quantity, I can copy and paste, unit price, total. Leave that colon, and here I'm going to put sales. And when we come down, it's going to be quantity, unit price, and Uh, total. I think that's what I'm going to add here. I think I can add refunds. Okay. Continue. I'm leaving one colon here and cost of goods sold. I think it might be a good one to have here. In fact, sales. Do I need sales here? I'm going to change Noah, I'm going to leave it, but let me enter something here. I'm going to call it cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold. Quantity, unit price, total. Okay, so what else do, I, do we need to track here? I'm going to enter more uh, rows here. At this point, I'm going to leave one blank here and I'm going to put uh, inventory year end or uh, end, end year end inventory year end inventory yeah and inventory so i'm going to have quantity unit price total okay so now we can have sales i can just delete one colon there we have sales unit price total refund okay so we can then add um gross I'm not putting out the raspy. Gross profit. And I don't know, I can put shipping. 
and make sure keep in mind that, that shipping cost to me or to you so just move it down here and I can put back in pretty much back in cost and what is I don't know so whatever we wanted to add we can add it and we can put profit okay so we we'll see if we need to have all of those things here or not so let's come down here so what I like to do so let's create a templates here I'm going to call it templates so keep in mind is a handmade we want to track handmade products so it's going to be handmade and the cells that we are going to track so we need finished product so I'm just going to copy a control C and I'm going to put it somewhere here V finished product I need that category type and I need sold control C and I'm just going to put it here sold okay so now we are going to use formulas equal for the beginning of the year we didn't have anything so but let's start it there some ifs that's what we will use some ifs and we'll go back to our original spreadsheet some if and we can just drag everything here and at this point I don't know let's just go all the way somewhere and you can just drag it all the way but I'm just going to stop at 22 for instance and I'm going to make sure I press function F4 to to put the dollar sign next to everything here and I'll put comma and then we want to sum all the quantity from this column if the products session here and we can just drag it we make sure it's equal to the number we are using we are using 22 6 to 22 so we want to make sure those numbers are the same so function f to press it so if all those products come on match matches what we have here and I'm just going to fix the letter but not the number so I'm put dollar sign next to C but not next to 7 come on and if all the categories here Come on, yes, but we need to make sure we have that. Then I'll click the function F4 again to add it. So if all the categories there match, finish products, and then I'm going to fix it. So dollar sign before the colon letter and before the row. So it's going to be fixed. And then I'm just going to close the parenthesis, and that's it. So, what I like to do in this session here, we are just going to continue. So, the unit price we are going to use index. So, the unit price is going to be equal index. And what we are trying to index is going to be from here, we want to make sure it's 22 and we want to fix it. And we are going to use match. So in the spread match is where we want to find the data and match. Um, okay, so for match, you can see the formula here look up value. What we want to look up is our product name, and I want the C to be fixed but not the number, comma look up array it is where we want to look up 
and we want to look up under product here all the way to 22 you can just see it here we want to have 6 to 22 and I'm going to make a fix as well and I'm going to choose 0 x that math and then I'm going to just close it and close it again okay and total here and total technically is just going to be quantity times unit price yes but if we purchase things at different prices we can either change the title of the item to make it different or we can look up the total and calculate our unit price based on what we have here so if we want to look up the total it's going to be pretty much the same way we did this but yeah that is going to add uh, bring all the total for us so it's going to be sorry in this so you have the choice if you think the item your um hair materials in fact um if your hair materials the raw the products has different costs like you purchase things from different websites and it costs you different prices then your materials might have different prices so you can just use index here so we can use index and and what we want to do is the total from here to 22 can we just uh my mouse start acting up but when my mouse is acting up we know we want 22 we just put 22 and i'm just going to fix everything here comma match and let's look up we want um this i want c to be fixed and then i'll go back here and look up area is going to be our area here Okay, you know what? I'm just going to come here and turn it to 22 and fix it. And it's going to be zero. Okay. And it's going to be the same thing I'm going to do. Yeah, so let's get started. Finish product. And at this point, I can just that and do you see this formula here? You know, what? I'm just going to repeat the formula because I can copy it, bring it here and change the, um, the numbers but for now let's do it one more time for this one so some if so purchases during the year what do we want to sum we want to sum the quantities for the purchases during the year from row c to row 22 i have a very sensitive um keyboard sum all of that and we'll put comma so if all the products here we have okay so my mouse is adding up I'm just going to change it 22 I want to make sure I fix it match my product name here I'm going to fix the colon and if my category that I enter here comma matches 
finished products and I'm going to make a fix and I'm going to close it so the unit price I will do the total okay the unit price is the index so equal index and pretty much is it the yeah so I'm going to okay that's what I wanted to find comma March I have that product name please find a unit price for it for me making sure it is here okay and I can just come on otherwise just enter zero and then I'll close it and I'll close it and that's pretty much it and then the total here is just going to be the unit price times the quantity so cost of goods sold is going to be the same sum if and I'm going to go all the way here to cost of goods sold and I'm going to bring all my quantities here some all of that if the cost of goods sold in this we are going to use sales so if all of my sales that I enter here as a name comma much what I have here comma and if the category that I put here fix it comma much is sold so if you watch the previous video you know that I insist that we have the same, we have a reach in the same way sold, finished product, or raw materials. And that's for that reason. That's pretty much it. And the unit price. So the unit price is going to be, so here is the thing. So when you are selling things, you might sell the same product A, Hemi product A that we are selling. You can sell it for $5.99. And then you might decide to change the price, to decrease it or to increase it, depending on how your profit margin is. So for that reason, we don't need to make an entry every time a new entry for the product when we change the price. You can. In that case, you can just index here to find the unit price but if we want all those uh, that one item so that different prices to be just accounted for on one row then we need to index the total in fact we are not going to index did I index the total here no I should not be indexing the total the total should be some if the unit price will be indexed the total will be some if if we want to find the total some if I think I'll work on this total later but since you are talking about uh, this session let's some if our total here so we'll go back here and cost of goods sold okay cost of goods sold so we want to sum up all the um total here comma if in fact cost of goods sold is the same thing as 
what you have in inventory. So technically, unless I said it wrong, if you are working on sales, then when you sell things on diff at different prices, uh, I don't know if you recall, but I said that if you sell things at different prices, you wanted to track the total of those sales. We are not working on sales, we are working on cost of goods sold. So for co cost of goods sold, we can just index the unit price unless you purchase things from different website, the same item from different website or from different store at different prices. So let's just uh, sum if the total for that, but it just gives you an idea. You can either use the unit price by using index or you can use uh, some E for total and quantity. So let's, and what I like to do when we enter things here and we are creating other sheets, when we make mistakes in the formula, we will find out very quickly. So some if inventory sales, we sum all of that and then we want to use sales colon here. I want to make sure it's 22. March cheese, our product name, and if here we enter sold, so anything we enter there matches this for us. What did I do again here? Okay, yeah, but we are not done. Okay, so that's that. And you can just calculate cost of goods sold here for us if we think, you know, our costs are different. So it's going to have that. Year-end inventory. Year-end inventory will calculate it here. So pretty much it's going to be some of... Start, comma, purchases during the year, comma, minus cost of goods sold. And we'll do the total. Total is going to be sum of, because you can purchase at the beginning of the year and the middle of the year at different prices. So, uh, total, beginning, Ending minus total of cost of goods sold and our, our year end average unit price is going to be the total divided by beginning. And our year end inventory will be our beginning year inventory of the following year. So we are talking about this total here. So equal sum if. So let's sum if star year total and we want 22. If um, all the product we enter here matches the product we have here and if all the categories we have here fix comma matches finished product completely fixed here okay to okay handmade inventory handmade Okay, so some if inventory, yeah, we told that this one should not be here. So if I one to 22, match that. Okay, so there is, don't know if you'll be able to follow me, but there is something that I didn't put there. Pretty much, we are summing all. 
O is this one here? Let me see if I can move this formula out of the way. Oh, come on. Okay, that's fine. So we are summing this. We have that part here. And, but we want to sum that if all the products here fix match our handmade product name and if the inventory i6 this one match our handmade i3 and it should be correct oh come on it should be correct right now then i can just put that okay so we have this and let's see 25 minutes in And we have sales. Let's work on sales as well. Sales quantity. Some if and that's the sales. Okay, make a fix, comma. Uh, we have to remember that's this category we will use if that comma matches our product name comma and if the categories here that we use fix everything matches our handmade sold fix it and then we can just close it okay so something is not right here so we sum that if okay so this is not accurate here i'm going to delay that and go back again so we sum we sales we sum of u6 to 22 if my products oh behave here why you use oh no that's k we are using 22 and i'm just going to fix it match our product we are and then everything so unique price here that's what i was talking about earlier when you sell the product for 5.99 and here let's just change the price here for one of the items uh let's just say we sold more i'm just going to copy one of the cells and i'm going just to enter here and let's just say 1520 we sold that product and we sold three of it and we changed the unit price to maybe 6.99 and we are not going to add all the task things but probably maybe why not we sell it on ebay and quantity three we like that unit price for cost of goods so the unit price is 0.23 right there for our hemi products let's continue shipping it's okay if the shipping didn't change no the shipping maybe it was 4.75 it calculate our profit for us so and at this point we need to come here and make sure we include the other product we sold as well to update it so why we come we came there so we are trying to find the unit price here the thing is the unit price it changed for our products 
we sold them at $5.99 and then at $6.99. So what we are going to do is just bring the total sales amount. So we are going to work on this one equals sum if. So when you are working on total, totals, use sum if so that you can total all the, all the amount for you. So we are going to sum if. And at this point, we are not going to use 22 because I just add another row here. It will have brought it to 23. But anyway, that's fine. Um, sum if, let's fix it. If our cells here, was it 22? Yeah. Match our handmade product's name. And we fix the colon, but not the row. And if the category that we are signed for our sales matches sold sold and then I'm just going to fix it too then I will press enter and at this point at this point I can just say units I can just calculate it here myself if I wanted to see how much the average to I'll do that there so refund is going to be the same thing and at this point what I like to what I can do here is refund I will come here and see the refund is Z so what I will do here to make it easy is this colon session I'm going to copy the formula because I make a lot of things fees, it's just going to be the same. So I'm going to control C and then I'll click, I'll press escape, ESC, right at the beginning of my keyboard to get out of the formula. And I'll come here and then I'll just press, I'll put the formula back here. But remember, we want to change Z. We want to total Z. So I'm just going to press shift Z z so everything else will be the same and gross profit gross profit can be calculated here is just the sum of my total and my refund now is my total Okay, let's do it this way. And the cost of goods sold. Enter. And then shipping. If I want to add shipping here, I will come here and see my shipping. There is another way we can do that too. Everything else is the same. So I'm just going to copy the refund. And I'm going to paste it under shipping here by using uh, keep the format in here. But then I will click on it. So the beginning that has some if and Z is going to change. So I'm just going to take that out. And I'll go back here. So I took the beginning out and I'm not sure if, yeah. And then, and then I will come here. We are doing shipping, right? So the shipping is going to be Y. And we want to make sure it's 22. Okay. So I took the beginning of the formula R for refund and Oh, and then we did the shipping, but it's not the shipping we want to track. 
is the shipping so I'm going to take it out again let's see how it's going to work out okay shipping 22 so having so many colons yeah is going to be confusing it requires a lot of attention so some that if our product match the name that we have and our category match the category sold i can just press enter here and packing cost is going to be the same thing so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here <coughs> excuse me and i'm just going to find packing here is al I'm going to right click, uh, double click in the formula and I can just change this session here. That's that session that I wanted to change. And we can just go back to inventory cells, back in course. I just want to make sure it's 22. And that's it. And profit, profit here is just going to be the sum of gross profit minus shipping comma minus packing and then I'll close the parenthesis and that's it so can just uh, press that comma to change those zero zero Okay, so now <clears throat> let's see if our formula, let me see. So I think we are way in. We are going to test our formula to see if it is working well for us. But that is going to be pretty much it for this session. And we are going to enter our handmade products and see how our formula is working for us. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap, our blog, where you can find these templates if you cannot create yourself. And We thank you very much for let me just put it back here watching our video thank you so much for your comments and thank you for subscribing to our channel and what i'm trying to do is now that we create that template i'm just going to copy it and i'm going to paste it and okay so yeah okay <clears throat> I'm going to go back here this one I'm not seeing the dollar sign there it has to be there so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to copy it again copy and I'm going to just insert copied cell it yeah and that will match this so some if so is same value so we will see oh, okay oh I see the issue again let's delete this and that's the reason do you see here we need all a sign there we want from six to 23 and that has to be fixed copy and paste okay 
So now that I copy and paste, I like to change the template to something else like our materials that we produce because it's a handmade. We'll come here and we'll just paste it here because we want it exactly spell out like that. And I can just, and since we have few, let's go check. What I like to do is at this point, I like to make sure my star, I didn't have anything under start here. So that's okay. So that matches. So 23, 25 is what we produce at 563. We want to make sure our handmade here is that it is. So our, our purchase is accurate. Sold. Let's go to sold. And I'm just going to highlight, I'm going to select our handmade here. And if you can go to sold. So we have one, whatever, like 11, right? So let's see what we have here. 11, do you see it? So two, okay, cost of goods sold. We have 25 here. Okay, so some if, let's see, what did I do here? Do you see here? I didn't add my um, dollar sign here. So when we don't add dollar sign, each time you move, it's going to move rows for you. Do you see? It's not good. So I'm going to go back to the templates. And I'm going to add dollar sign function F4. Click in a function F4. And make sure we have everything we want to stay fixed is fixed for us. So we are going to get out of that. And while we are there, let's check the rest that um okay, okay. We have our dollar signs here, and we can just, yeah, we have it. Okay, so that means this row, I'm going to delete it again. In fact, I don't need to delete it. Do you see this? I can just drag it down. And let's see. Okay. And now that I click on it, yeah so that's the cost so let's see if that's 248 that it costs us to make that product that's our cost here and at the bottom of my screen you can see it here is 248 so that mean it is accurate for us so let's continue now year end so here is calculating the average price for us and it's pretty much about the same as this one. Year end. Year end, it said we have 14 on hand. So, and that, we don't really need to, that's why I don't want to track it here because here we manually make changes here. And pretty much this is going to help us make sure this one is accurate here. But it's not the other way around, it's not this that is going to validate this because you most likely may not remember to accurate that one. So the formula is here. We have 25 to start in the middle of the year. We sold 11, we have 14 left. And that's the price, uh, the cost. This one minus that gave us this. That's that. So sales, we sold 11. And that's the price here that we, that's the total sales. And let's go back to our sales to make sure we got that formula accurate. And it should match our sales colon total here, 68.89, have it down here. 6889. Let's go check if that's what we have. 6889. That's that. And we are calculating our average price based on that. The gross profits is that. Our shipping 1635. Shipping is 1635. Yes, 1635. Our packaging 
is 0, 4 is 4 cents, 40 cents, 0. 0.4, so it's 40 cents, and our profit is pretty much getting calculated here. So that's how you pretty much on a regular basis enter your items here, your sales, your handmade products, and this is going to just calculate everything for you. And we are not done because um, that's pretty much what it's going to be, but it's going to be good to add the total uh, session here so that if we have more handmade products, he can total everything up for us. So I'm going to add that. And I don't want to make the video too long. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your comments. And thank you. You all that subscribe to our channel. And please, if you can not, you don't have time or you cannot design this uh, spreadsheet and you don't use a software to track your inventory and your sales, you can locate it under free download on our blog, ninasoap.com. You don't need to log in. You don't need to subscribe to our blog. Although we will be happy to have you join us, you can download it right from the blog page under free download and you can just download it and start using it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman.